Hey, what's up, guys? Here we are again. Well, this is my second trip. I won't post the first one because it was four minutes of nothing. They just handed me a new form. They want me to fill out their own form. So I had to bring it back in. I have a couple. One for the clerk. Oh, well, they're both for the clerk, but one's for the police station more. So we're going to get some records from the police department that has seemed to neglect a response from myself and for the last three years for somebody else. So we're going to go hand these in. I have one for the court clerk too. We'll hold out. Here's the form. There's one section. And the other section. The other one's for the court. Alright guys. This big old plan. I just ran across the road, so I'm all tired. I breathe heavy anyways, you guys know that. Haley's in. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> I already had them all typed up on the papers, so plus there was not enough room in that box anyways. There's one for the police department and one for the, the village. Hopefully they're worded correctly or okay. That second one on that police department might be a little different. Oh, you're gonna need to put your signature here. Um, really, I do really have to. Um, because yep. usually I only have to put my email. I filled out a few dozen of these through different towns in St. Lawrence and Jefferson County, and all I really need is a contact information i never signed it never put address nothing like that said i've filled over probably 50 60 of these i've never done it once so i mean if i have to i you know have to i guess but okay well she'll so just contact you and let you know when the paperwork's ready then okay, okay. i appreciate it. thank you let's see if i can hand this one in for the court hello I'm wondering if I can hand this in as uh, like a request form for uh, public records for the court. I'm just trying to get any case information from any like past cases of mine. Matthew Merritt. I might have to put like a social security number on there to make it. Probably don't deal with public records requests very often, huh? You just want all your records? Yeah, anything that pertains to my ca any case that I've had in the past or whatever. They're going to be 10 plus years old, so I don't know how that even works. Like, how far back you guys keep records for, or... Give me a second. Okay. okay that... I'll have to look into that a little bit more, guys, for you, too. I don't know what the law requires them to keep records for how long. Um, maybe somebody can answer me that. Um, I just want that stuff. Uh, for one, when I do a background check, like when they did a background check for the housing we moved into, it came back a bunch of misinformation on my background check, on my criminal part of it. So getting these records from the courts directly, I will be here. Um, Everything that I've ever been in trouble for has probably either been through Governor Court or the Canton Supreme Court, the County Court. So I'll be there next. I said I will get all these records. That way every single detail of my criminal past is there and I'll post it for you guys. The court's over this way, but I won't go down there. I don't need to. 
that's where they hold the board meetings and stuff like that too and let's see what's all up here on the wall hanging Killing me today. I woke up and hurt my back. We spent the last two or three days moving. Let me tell you what, guys. I am beyond done trying to move. Hopefully, this is it the last time, and then I'll be building my home this summer, hopefully, and I'll be done. I'll be out of there. Because every time we move, it's only me. You know, I don't have. People don't want to show up to help, and I just rely on myself. <clears throat> so these records would be at least 10 years old because I've definitely never not been in trouble here for the last 10 years so, so between 10 and 20 years old so I wouldn't know chances are I probably won't have anything Yeah, or if possible. No, a whole the whole case file. Anything that's re public record. All right, that's gonna take a minute. Yeah, that's. I don't really I need to. Write your on here and we'll give you a call Can we just use the email? This is your email. Yeah, that's the email. That's what I usually do is just put an email, electronic copy. It's all that way. You don't even need to be printed or nothing like that. If it can all be sent in like a PDF form or through right, email, email if, is a good right, to get in right. With. Right. If it needs to be printed off, you know, then I can come in right. and we'll figure that out or whatever. But there you go. So, we'll so. Get in contact with this email then. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys. Sweet. Let's uh, get up out of here. Police department's down here. I tried to talk to them earlier, but they didn't want to help me out. So, we're going to hold these guys accountable, though. They said there's a public records or uh, I will pin the link to the website. Um, it's called muckrock.com. There is uh, it's like a new online news agency. Um, they uh, are doing, they started in 2020. They started getting um, incident or uh, how do I put this? Um, the procedure and all that for internal investigations like complaints. Any police officer that has had complaints and stuff like that, they're trying to get every um, agency, every police agency in New York, you know, the list of complaints and stuff like that to post. And this uh, police department has been ignoring that request ever since 2020. Um, the lady that was filing those FOIA requests, she has sent, sent, sent at least three dozen emails to the police department in regards to trying to get those records um one recently dated for january of this year so she's still trying to and failing like i said and then i i also had um requesting records of my own here for myself not pertaining to hers in december and they've been completely ignoring that email also after being confirmed that um, I was sending my email to the right person, you know? So we're gonna try to hold those guys accountable. But all right, guys, I'm gonna get up out of here. We're gonna go home, cold out. I appreciate you guys sticking around.